So we have the Stellar XLM CEO, Donnell Dixon, saying that Swift won't be the main tool transferring money around the world. And this came from a recent interview, which I am going to play for you first. We also have some updates from Donnell Dixon herself talking about what has happened in 2023. And in addition to this, we will be getting into some more news about Stellar and the efficiency of the network. And of course, the price action of Stellar XLM coin for today. All I ask from you are two things, which is to smash that like button and to subscribe to the channel as well. And so I'm not going to make you wait any longer. We had an interview series with Danelle Dixon where she basically had questions fired at her and she either had to respond with yes or no or with multiple choices. And the key takeaway from this were two key questions. And what basically happened is the fact that she was asked on a scale of one to ten if Swift will remain a powerhouse in the next coming years. And so she thinks it's an unlikelihood that Swift will still be the big boys in this game. And she was then asked if a challenger payment card will rival Visa and Mastercard and she she responds with seven and so she thinks that Visa and Mastercard will have a bit more of a stronghold and they will be able to overtake that within that integration. Let's just take a look at this video and then I'll be sharing my opinion with you. Swift will still be the main tool for transferring money around the world? Three. A new card or non-card based rival will emerge to challenge Visa, Mastercard and the like? Seven. Now, don't forget that Swift will still be a tool that will be used in terms of transferring money around the world, but she says over here that it won't be the main tool. Now, when it comes to Swift itself, they are already partnered up with big banks like Citibank. They're partnered up with building societies as well, and also with Western unions that they are already operating within these banks. And so in order for those banks to move, they're going to need someone else coming in to be able to provide an international money transfer. And now the only reason why financial institutions like your banks and building societies will ever do that is if there were benefits and one of the benefits of Stellar XLM compared with Swift are the transaction fees. Now we know that the cost for Stellar when it comes to sending money internationally is point quadruple zero one XLM and when it comes to the Swift payments it's not as cheap as Stellar XLM. I actually had a look at some stats on this and some banks charge around three to five percent on the exchange rate for each transfer and so of course that is going to vary when you do the transfer but I also had a look at Nationwide Building Society and they charge a 20 pound transaction fee for swift payments now the dollar conversion might be somewhere about 25 to 30 dollars however you can see over here that just one transaction fee is costing a lot of amount of money not only for individuals because that will be too expensive but also for financial institutions because they will be dealing with transactions that are in the millions and billions and then she responds with a seven with regards to visa and mastercard and how they will be coming up and we've already seen with Ripple that they are in a partnership with Mastercard and we could potentially be having that with Stella as well. I think that the cards are on the table for us. Again, Ripple XRP and Stella XLM, we are not in competition. I think both of these coins are going to do really well as they both have different utility and maybe we could potentially see Stella XLM also get in a partnership with either Mastercard or Visa. So let's take a look at her announcements that she has posted on X. So she says over here, what a year it's been, a true year of utility for the Stella network, reflecting on the ecosystem systems hard work. I couldn't be prouder of all we've accomplished together and here's a look back. So she mentions that Stella saw over $300 million in tokenized on-chain assets showcasing our successful collaborations with FTI and also with Wisdom Tree funds as well. Now do know that with Frankel Templeton's money fund it was able to surpass $270 million and this is important because it currently utilizes a Stella blockchain network for transaction activity and for Wisdom Tree I know that it is introducing its first ever blockchain enabled fund as well and I believe that both of these companies are also coming out with a spot Bitcoin ETF too. And then we have here we marked the first anniversary of our collaboration with MoneyGram. Together we are empowering users to transform their physical cash into digital dollars expanding access to over 180 countries and 300,000 locations. And we've also seen recently that Stella have invested into MoneyGram. So MoneyGram are a money transfer company. We're not quite sure as to how much they have invested However, the money that has been invested would be utilized to expand its digital business and also exploring blockchain technology as well. And it was also mentioned that Stella and MoneyGram have been working together before prior to that investment. Now, when it comes to the grants throughout the year, the Stella Community Fund awarded $1 million in grants fueling innovation in our ecosystem. Now, many people have been disappointed with this number saying it's too small compared to the likes of Ripple XRP. You could say that it is because I believe that they were able to award more than 10 
$10 billion in funding to over 100 projects globally. But nevertheless, at least we have $1 million in the bag in the for the grants. And then we have at the Meridian 2023, we had the pleasure of hosting more than 500 community members, thought leaders, and our partner and collaborator Idris Elba. And the event also marked the introduction of our fresh new brand. So the Meridian is something that they do every single year, like an annual event and something like Ripple Swell as well. Further on the tech side, Soraban development continues to be a top priority for our team. This year we completed 11 preview releases and the Mana upgrade vote is scheduled for January 30. And you'll see over here that we have a vote that will be happening on that date regarding the Mana upgrade to Protocol 20. And also I'll just show you a short video of how Soraban is built on the Stellar XLM blockchain. Now whilst this is a good partnership and something that we've all been seeing, it has been noted that we want Stellar XLM to be looking at other things other than Soraban in general. And it says over here that it will be a top priority but we do need some more utility and other partnerships. And we have closing out the month, we celebrated one year of Stellar Aid Assist in Ukraine, dispersing $1.1 million to over 1,500 individuals. And with partners like Sidecar MoneyGram, this initiative set the stage for the Stellar Disimbursement Platform to transfer global bulk payments and then it's been a remarkable year for SDF the network and the seller ecosystem and we look forward to building on this momentum in 2024. So what a lot of people want to be seeing for Stellar XLM is more partnerships, more utility, more use cases and not only just be talking about Sora Ban. Now before we have a look at the price action for today I just want to show you this paper and just to show you the benefits as well we have the Stellar Consensus Protocol and it says over here that the transactions per second have been able to reach the thousands using Stellar and for any energy efficiency. A research study has shown that an estimate of the electricity required for a single transaction for Stellar XLM is a factor of 10 less than Bitcoin and similar to that required of Visa. And so not only are we cost effective when it comes to transaction fees, but we are also energy efficient and we are beating the big players like Bitcoin and Visa. Now the price action for today, we are currently trading at 0.132. We are up by 1.48% on the one day chart. For the volume, we are up by 33.84% and we are trading at $80.4 million. So today is the 2nd of January and if we just take a look at where we were in the earlier hours of the day you'll see over here we were trading at 0.1332 and the lowest that we went for the day was 0.131 not that bad to be honest with you for the seven day chart we are up by 2.84 percent the lowest that we went to for yesterday was 0.1275 although not that bad because we are still within that 12 cent range and you'll see over here that we have come up quite nicely now do I think that we will be mirroring this pattern when we were able to get to 0.13 5a I don't think so it seems like as if we could potentially come down a bit maybe to 0.128 and within that level however still XLM is pretty good at that price point for the one month chart we are up by 8.63 percent I do want to see it hit 15 cents so we are only two cents away and I definitely think that we can do that but we might just see a pullback within the meantime guys if you want daily still XLM coin news subscribe to the channel and like the video as well